Stress leads to burnouts that hit your bottom line. It's estimated at 300 billion per year in diminished productivity in the US. To address this challenge, researchers showed that organizations must simultaneously reduce workplace stress and increase their engagement to address this challenge. Before sharing some tips with you, it's important to know what really happens when your teams are under stress. Basically, the primal or emotional parts of their brains take over, affecting their ability to think long-term, strategize, or even innovate. Following are my five tips to reduce the workplace stress, and later I'll provide tips to increase employees' engagement. Number one, implement flexible work schedules, even in work from home arrangements and make sure not to judge your employees performance on how long they are online but rather the quality and frequency of their deliverables number two set clear expectations on deliverables as well as the rules of engagement for example refraining from answering emails post working hours Number three, encourage time boxing, which is blocking time in your team's calendars for strategy or innovation work, as well as taking breaks, which is ideally good for short physical activity. Number four, reconfigure your offices for the recovery period post-COVID to account for extroverts and introverts, knowing that introverts require quiet workspaces. Number five, build a psychologically safe environment where employees are not afraid of speaking up or failing. So, so far we have covered reducing work stress. Following are four tips to increase employees' engagement. Number one, create a sense of purpose. Number two, walk the talk. Number three, be fair and use candor by recognizing achievements and coaching for improvement and growth. Number four, empower your teams. Thank you.